Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Today is the Stamping Society's blog hop. Happy January 2021. Whew. We've been waiting a long time for this year, right? <laughs> Today we're going to be focusing on Valentine ideas. And I have the Lots of Hearts, a brand new Valentine set, available in our Spring, January through June mini catalog. And also the Many Hearts dies to go with it. Now, there are 15 different dies in here and they do some very cool things. And we have a stamp set of 11 different images in here. Let's flip the camera around. We're gonna do some traditional colors for Valentine's Day and I'm gonna show you some great tips about these dies. This stamp set has some really fun patterns with hearts in it and also some little flowers and some sentiments that I love. We also have the many hearts dies very cool images in here. Lots of hearts, hearts that do some very funky things, and I'm gonna show you pretty much um, all the heart ideas in here. And remember, this is a blog hop with the Stamping Society. Now, there is an exclusive video tutorial available to anyone who places an order with me in the month of January. Also, you can purchase it for $7, or if you're a member of my team, whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper, you get this tutorial for free. Six different fantastic Valentine ideas. This particular bundle is not available until January 5th. That's when our new mini catalog goes live. Also happening January 5th, Celebration starts, and Celebration is a fabulous promotion that Stampin' Up! has every year. This year, it runs from January 5th through February 28th. You can purchase any product from Stampin' Up! in this catalog or our big annual catalog, and you get to choose a free item out of here when your order reaches $50. If your order reaches $100, you get two items, and so on and so forth. Now, I can't show you the insides of these catalogs yet because they haven't gone live to the public, but these will be available on my website starting January 5th. If you would like to get your hands on a hard copy of these, I'd be happy to mail them to you. You can send me an email right here at kelly at stampabove.com. Send me your address. You have to be in the United States. If you're not in the United States, you can find a demonstrator in your local country and you should be able to get these catalogs too. Okay, so let's get started. I had a lot of fun playing with this new bundle. And of course, I wanted to get a jump start on my Valentine cards because I love to send those out and I need to make a whole bunch of them before February 14th comes around. So first off, we are going to start with a real red card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've simply folded it and we're going to burnish that edge good with our bone folder. Then I have a piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter. I've also got a scrap of Whisper White, a Whisper White envelope, and then three little scraps here. Whisper White, Flirty Flamingo, and Real Red. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get my stamping completed. I've got my real red ink pad here, and I've got my stamps mounted and ready to go. I'm gonna be using the one that says Your All Heart, and I'm going to stamp that right in the middle of my scrap layer. We're gonna do a little die cutting with that using this heart die. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside for a moment. Then we're gonna take our four by five and a quarter inch layer, and I am going to, I grabbed another Valentine set that I have. This is the meant to be Valentine set, and I needed a happy Valentine's Day. So we are going to stamp that right on this Whisper White layer. This is for the inside of our card. 
The next thing we're going to do with this is we're going to take the heart dots. Now all this die cuts is the dots. And we're going to put that right here and we're going to die cut that in just a moment. Now I've got some little elements here that I want to do with the front of my card. So we've got this string of hearts. I don't know what else you would call it, but we are going to take that and we're just going to cut out a couple of these hearts. I only need one of them, but I'm going to lay that aside. Next, we're going to grab this particular die and we are going to die cut a flirty flamingo string of hearts and also a whisper white string of hearts. So we've got all of these things that we need to get die cut and I'm going to do most of these off camera but I wanted to show you just a couple of them. Okay, this is our new die cut and emboss machine. This is a mini machine. It is called, I'm calling it the mini boss. And it's really nice because these sides fold up. You can put it away. Love this. This is going to be available on January 5th. So um, if you purchase this too, it's $60. You can get a celebration item for free. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to die cut my couple little hearts here. and show you how slick this little deal is. I really do like this little machine. I like that it can sit on my desk. I don't have to put it too far away. It doesn't take up too much space. And here we go. Now these, these are not the hearts I was looking for. These are the insides. What I'm looking for are what's left in here. And I like to just do this smack your die and you get these little hearts and I love these we're gonna use these on the front of our card now I'm gonna set this aside I'm going to take the rest of my items that I need die cut and get that done and I'll be back in just a second okay I think we have everything ready to go here. So I wanted to show you this particular die does these little polka dots, little see-through polka dots in here. Now you can see that there's little dots still left in this die. What I like to do is just take it and again, smack it on my surface and all those little dots come right out and I can put it away. This heart cut or this die cut this heart, so we're ready to go with that. I already showed you how I got this outline heart from this particular die. We're ready to go with that. And then we've got these strips of dies in Flirty Flamingo and Whisper White from this border die. Okay, let's bring our card in here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my inside layer and add it to the inside. That's what this one was for and I like to decorate up my insides a little bit. I just think that the party should not end when somebody opens up their card. So I always like to do a little something on the inside of my cards. Let's see if I can get this even in here. There we go. And I like the way you can see the red through the polka dot peekaboo. Peek I'm gonna grab my silicone mat. I've also got a little um, clip, a little echo fastener clip here, and a wedge of sponge. And I'm just gonna put that clip on there to hold my sponge. You don't have to do that, but it's kind of nice, it's handy. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and put it on my silicone mat. Now this is going to help me to put these very intricate pieces on the front of my card. So I'm going to turn them over. I'm going to bring a sponge in and I'm going to kind of spread out that glue so that I don't have big globs of it here. And I am going to 
add some glue to the back of my flirty flamingo layer and I want to make sure that I get it all down towards the end. I'm going to move this out of the way and I am going to oops, bring in my card front here. And I just want this to go right across the front and you have to be real careful because this, like I said, this is very intricate and we're going to put this right across the front like that. We're going to do this again with our white. Now we can't lay our white down where we laid the flirty flamingo. We have to move it a little bit because we don't want it to stick in the glue that is on our mat. And now I'm going to bring this in and add some glue to the back of my white layer and very delicately pick it up, move this out of the way again. Now you could use um, our self-adhesive sheets to do this if you wanted to. I find with super intricate pieces that are long like this, they're a little tricky because they like to kind of stick to everything. <laughs> okay, and there we have two strips of this pretty border. I'm just gonna turn these over and I am going to clip them off right on the edge of my card both the fold side and the opening side. Okay, there's what we have. Isn't that pretty? Next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to bring in this little red heart and I'm gonna do the same thing with that. Now, when you get done, oh, I see I have a piece of hair in here as usual. When you get done, Using the silicone sheet, you can rinse this off. It'll rinse right off or you can rub it off after it dries. So it's real easy cleanup. I'm gonna take this heart and put my outline heart right in the center here. And then we're going to add some dimensionals to the back. I'm going to put three of them on here. I like to use my Take Your Pick tool to get those dimensional backings off. And we're going to set that, how about right up here. And then I've got some of the Real Red Stitched Satin Ribbon. This is Double Stitch Satin Ribbon. And I'm just going to tie a nice little bow. Let's try that again. The trick to tying a nice bow is to make sure that you aren't letting your pieces of ribbon all twist and turn as you're doing it. You have to keep them fairly straight. And as long as you pay attention to that, you're going to be happy with the way that your bows turn out. Let me pull this just a little bit more, and I always like to kind of hold on to my loops while I'm pulling my tails. And that helps too. And if you need to, you can use mini glue dots to keep everything going the way that you want to. Like you can put mini glue dots down underneath to keep your tails in place where you want them, if that makes you crazy. Got my mini glue dots here. And I'm just going to put this right in there. And here is our first card, what do you think? Very traditional Valentine card. Let me grab my envelope because I think that I would like to put this little strip of hearts on here. I'm gonna ink that up in real red. I also like to decorate my envelopes. It just makes it happier when it comes in a mailbox, right? Isn't that pretty? Now I've got one more card to share with you. This one is fairly simple. This uses a card Whisper White thick card base, five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored that at four and a quarter, and we're just gonna burnish that edge good. 
I've got a Whisper White envelope, a scrap of Real Red and Whisper White, and then also a Whisper White and a Real Red that are both four by five and a quarter. So I wanted to show you one of the other elements in the set of dies, and that is the little XOXO. My grandma used to always do XOXO three times at the bottom of every letter that she sent me, and it was so sweet. So I'm gonna take that on my red layer, and I'm gonna put it right at the bottom. I'm just using a piece of temporary tape to hold that in place. I'm gonna run it through my machine and show you. Here's what that's going to look like. Okay, look at those cute little XOXOs in here. Now, again, I'm just going to tap my die on my desktop here to get the little pieces out. I've also got the rest of the little pieces left from there. Now, you could leave it with one or you could do this again on this side and again on this side. And just to save a little time, I've already done that so you can see what that looks like. I'm going to take this heart die on our scrap of real red and I'm going to die cut that. Then I'm going to take our whisper white layer and we're going to stamp the sentiment in real red that says, my heart smiles just thinking about you. So I'm going to put that right in the middle here and then we're going to grab one of these large hearts and we're going to die cut that. So I'll be right back with both of these pieces. And here we go. Okay, last but not least, we have, oh, you need um, some scraps of Whisper White, which I forgot to get out here, but I've already taken the liberty of die cutting five of those, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this four by five and a quarter inch piece and I am going to add these in a row whoops, to this piece using the sponge and glue, just like I did for the last card. Let's see if I can get these on here right. And once I have these all in a row, just like this, I'm gonna add the glue to them and put them on here. Hang tight while I do that. You already saw me do it on the other one, so you know how to do it. I'm just gonna do it on this one. Now, once we have this done, I'm gonna turn my piece over and just trim off these little edges, just like I did on the last card. Here we go, isn't that cool? I love that white on white look. Okay, here comes our heart. We are going to add this to our red stitched scalloped heart. Isn't that pretty? And then I wanted to add these little buggers. So, I am going to again bring in some more glue that little one. There's an X. And let's see. A little O here. And another little X. And I'm just kind of rubbing them in the in the um, glue. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of glue and put it right on the edge of that one to keep that down. Okay, there we go. Look how cute that is, right? Okay, next up, we're gonna grab some dimensionals. those backs off and 
add this right to the front of our card. Oh my gosh, I love this. We've got our Whisper White card base. And I'm just going to add this to the front. What do you guys think? Oh, look at it. It's stuck to my finger because I have glue on my finger. Let's see if I can get that back down there. And add just a little bit of glue under there. There we go. And this is for the inside. And this is the side. Whoops, I was going to use this one, right? The one where we did all the X's and O's. Put this right in here. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Ah, I think I might give this one to Molly. She will love it. Last but not least, there are lots of different little embellishments that you can do. You can take some regular rhinestones. I happen to have the red rhinestones, so these are already colored and very pretty, and I've got a ton of them. So I'm just going to add some red rhinestones on here. And then, as long as we've got our red rhinestones out, why not add some to this card, too? How about we put one right in there? And maybe another one right over here. I want them to be very random. And we've still got this envelope to go with our second card. So, how about if we use the cute little heart that comes in the Lots of Hearts stamp set. And I'm just going to do some little hearts right up the side here. And I am inking once and stamping twice. How about like, just like that. Okay, you guys. Here's two Valentine cards made with these beautiful dies. Where'd my other envelope go? Here we go. So we've got this one, get this out of the way, <laughs> push that out of the way, and we've got this one, very traditional colors. And of course, you could do these in any color that you would like. Now, don't forget, this is a blog hop. The Stamping Society design team is doing all Valentines today, so I hope you'll hop along. If you'd like to place an order with me, remember this set of dies and stamp set are not available until January 5th. If you need any other supplies, you can head right over to my blog. You're gonna find an online ordering button there. This is my current host code. If this code happens to change before you get an order in, the code can always be found in the right-hand column on my blog current host code. You're gonna click up here to join in on the blog hop. Don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And I want to wish you guys all a happy new year. 2021 is definitely going to be a much better year than 2020, right? I think so. Thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Hit the button up here and go join the blog hop. Have a great New Year's Day. Bye-bye.